You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. I have another great show for you today. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below for CNA TV. My opening thought, compassion is contagious. Let's catch it and expose ourselves and our children to goodness every chance we get. Our journey is a process. Our journey shows us not only the world, but our purpose in it. Our journey is a discovery of our struggles, our beliefs, and our passions. Our journey brings us face to face with ourselves. It brings us together with our relationships. The past comes most colorfully alive when it's told through the memories of those who really lived it. Discover the peace you've been searching for and begin to understand and experience what true happiness really is. My hope is by sharing with you, my fellow traveler, I will have enriched your journey. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. The pups and I were up at 4 a.m. this morning after food for the pups, oatmeal and coffee for me, mm-hmm, we took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks. President Abraham Lincoln often visited hospitals to talk with wounded soldiers during the Civil War. Once, Doctors pointed out a young soldier who was near death and Lincoln went over to his bedside. Is there anything I can do for you? Asked the president. The soldier obviously didn't recognize Lincoln and with some effort he was able to whisper would you please write a letter to my mother? Mm. A pen and paper were provided and the president carefully began to write down what the young man was able to say. My dearest mother, I was badly hurt while doing my duty. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to recover. Don't grieve too much for me, please. Kiss Mary and John for me. May God bless you and Father. The soldier was too weak to continue. So Lincoln signed the letter for him and added, written for your son by Abraham Lincoln. The young man asked to see the note and was astonished when he discovered who had written it. Are you really the president? He asked. Yes, I am, Lincoln replied. Quietly. Then he asked if there was anything else he could do. Would you please hold my hand? The soldier asked. 
it will help to me, see me through to the end. Mm. In the hushed room, the tall, gaunt president took the boy's hand in his and spoke quiet words of encouragement until death came. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. My final thought, we can learn these things from our dog to listen without judgment, to love unconditionally, to guard faithfully the interest of those who care for you, and to be faithful until death. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the farm.